starting today? I'm good. How about you? Good. We're going to start you off with Roman Madrowski from ESPN. Yeah. Hi, thank you. Um, we're, we're asking all the fighters what the experience has been like so far in Jacksonville, uh, since it's kind of an unusual situation for you. Can you talk about um, your experience so far, like once once you arrived at the hotel, I assume it was last night? Um, oh, ah, um, it's pretty easy. Uh, we just arrived. Um, we get the medical uh, controls, a um, couple of tests, like coronavirus and um, I think a little bit of blood. Temperature, and then you get a wristband, and you go to your side. Then you check in. Then you go to your room, and if it's not necessary, don't get out of the hotel. And for me, I, I just like to be in my room, uh, minding my own business, stay focused, and um, if I need to do something, then go out. But till now, it, it didn't come to that. So that's my experience. Great. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Reese Dieters from uh, Veronica Fight. Uh, actually, Mark, uh, Fabrice wasn't able to make it, so that's why you're not hearing the voice of Fabrice uh, that you know. Um, how were your preparations for the fight, uh, Jarzinho? Were you able to complete your full uh, training uh, 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 with all the corona uh, restrictions? Yeah, actually, um, uh, my, my training camp was, was pretty good. Uh, none of this affect my my training camp because I was ready from uh, mod uh, mod something and as soon as the fight call off we take a couple of step back so uh, the time was was um, they say it didn't affect it that much and then the fights was on uh, still on in April and then it postponed and we were like okay and now May nine is not too far so I have a good training camp and I feel good feel great. I wait to Saturday. Uh, do you feel any different from uh, your normal uh, uh, um, um, form when you're when you're fighting now uh, with the coronavirus? No, I, I feel uh, I'm perfect. It's uh, mentally also the same. Yes, pretty much. I'm just I can't wait to be in the octagon and be shine again. So I have nothing to complain actually. So. Is it difficult for you that there's no audience there? Nah, for me it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, me and me and Francis gonna be there in, in handling business, letting things. So. What kind of fight will it be? Uh, people uh, are uh, expecting a stand-up fight. Is that something that's going to happen? For me, I have a perfect preparation. Uh, doesn't matter where the fight will go. If you go to the ground, we'll say standing up. It's MMA, so you can yeah, it can it can go either way. So uh, one thing I know. I want to step out of the octagon with my hands raised, and yeah, that's what we're looking for. Do you think your kickboxing experience gives you an advantage? Of course, a lot. So, what do you expect? Um, will it be a first rounder again, or will you take it to the fifth round? Because a lot of people think that you have the advantage when it's when the fight is longer. Uh, uh, for me, it doesn't matter. We fight for three rounds, and. Uh, uh, if it go to the third round, or yeah. go to the first round, you know, I'm always focused. Um, looking, what, um, try to find what I'm looking for. Put him down, walk away, and get my hands raised up to another one. And yeah, since this situation, we know um, we don't know when we're gonna fight again. And we love our sport, and we do everything we can. And we also believe in our specialists in the world to um, this situation go away. And yeah. So I wanna I wanna go in there and shine and be happy again, you know. Cause this is what I love and I can't wait to do this. Thank you so much, man. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Next we have Nolan King with USA Today. Hey Yair, how are you? Um my first question for you. Dana White this week has has come out and said that uh the winner of, of your fight on Saturday will likely get a title shot next. Uh have you heard that? And, and I guess, does that add any extra motivation for what you're trying to do on Saturday? Uh, yeah, I saw some of those uh, uh, um, reactions on the internet. Uh, but I'm always I'm always motivated. And um, I'm looking for the title shot. After this, what I want is to be go for the title shot and be champion after that. So um, it only makes me happy that um, certain way 
the UFC is trying to 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 understand what's going on that the heavyweight division kind of is hold on for a, for, a, for a, yeah a few months now. So as uh, soon as that settled up, I just want to get a title shot. And Saturday, uh, with that with that re- um, reaction of uh, the president of the UFC or not, I'm always motivated and I'm going there and do what I have to do for this guy. Really. Yeah, and, and going along with that, uh, Dana also said that he would have to wait to see how Stipe versus DC plays out, and he was hoping that, that Stipe would come back sooner. He said he can't wait forever. Do you think that an interim title might be a good thing in this instance, just because Miocic is a, a firefighter and he's dealing with this uh, this pandemic and everything? Do you think that's maybe an appropriate move? I think it's the perfect uh, uh, um, situation to put an uh, interim title in. I said it before, and I think, yeah, uh, to get the heavyweight, uh, division move on, put an interim title. If the champ is 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 is, uh, is uh, injured or he has a situation, we have to understand that. And then is that the job of the UFC to see uh, uh, what well, what 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 can they do for us? Because I'm here because I want to be a champion, and and after that I want to stay champion. So I'm I'm happy that that the that, that, that the Dana White and they try to come with a solution. My last question for you, uh, you know, you're very pr- proud of your heritage. Have, have you talked about it to any of the people back home about this pandemic? You know, how, how is how is the home country uh, holding up during this thing? Yeah, I'm always in contact with my home country, people, family, and uh, yeah, and friends. Um, now in my country, all the situations, the coronavirus situation, is, uh, we have no situations anymore. Um, the last person that was infected uh, get, uh, get tested twice and was twice uh, negative. So uh, now it's a little bit, they still have the lockdown and, and, and still uh, close the border uh, because the, uh, the countries uh, on the left and on the right still have a, a couple of situations. So uh, they decide to leave the border closed right now, but now home is safe. Thanks. Appreciate the time. Sure. Next, we have Damon Martin with MMA Fighting. Here, um, obviously, in preparing for Francis Ngannou, you know what he does best. We all know he's a knockout artist, big, heavy hands. But we have seen, you know, in his fight with Derek Lewis, there's a lot of tentativeness. He didn't want to attack. It was kind of like sit back and wait. Uh, how, how do you deal with, you know, Francis being a, you know, a counterfighter, being careful about attacking him, but obviously, you know, showing your game? Because he has shown that tendency before to where he will sit back a little bit. Mm, nah, for me, I hope he come uh, in that octagon this Saturday to fight, because uh, that was um, that is what I'm looking for. Um, he do what he does best. For me, I do what I do best. So um, this Saturday, I'm looking forward to go in the octagon and to be shine again. And I know we talked uh, before this fight about you know you wanted this to be for an interim title, and I'm sure you saw you know Stipe saying that. He probably won't be back before August or after August, I guess, at this point. Uh, you know, knowing that now, does it does it serve a little bit more frustrating that this fight, you know, isn't for an interim title, considering now what we know about, you know, what the heavyweight champion is not going to be back probably till you know, the end of the year at the earliest? Mm, nah. For me, um, first things, first things first, let me put it as this. First things first, this Saturday, go in the octagon, knock Francis out, and then... We're gonna focus on on what's gonna happen. What I really want is I want a title shot after this. So I hope the UFC find a find a way to make it happen. Um, whether the TP and the DC fight happen or not, um, soon as this is done this Saturday, I want to be in line. So um, yeah. And and last question to that point, you know, you've been so active since you've gotten in the UFC, so many fights in such a short span of time, obviously a lot of first round finishes. If you go out and beat Francis on Saturday, you knock him out. Uh, are you willing to wait for a title shot or, or would you want to stay busy knowing that, you know, because in theory, you know, you could be out for you know, 10 or 11 months, you know, waiting for the winner of Stipe and DC, or would you rather stay busy and just continue to fight? Um. I'm thinking I'm in the middle of that. Um, put this guy away and then um, uh, get along with my team to see what is the best thing to do. Um, you know, so I'm not the only one taking the decisions. Um, I have a perfect team, so um, we're going to see that. I really want to be busy. 
that's what I want. So, but is that the right thing? I don't know. So, um, I'm gonna get along with my team, and we're gonna we're gonna come back soon as this happens. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jair. Yes. You're done. Bye. Have a good day. You too.